Hello everybody and welcome to today's Pokemon TCG Online video. My name is Jesper from Limitless TCG and today we're gonna have a look at Darkrai. Um, this is the first video of the series from Victory Road, which is a new series where we're gonna talk about Pokemon TCG decks and uh, some good decks in that meta. So now we're gonna talk about the Darkrai decks, which is a famous fork with in the Melbourne Internationals in Australia uh, a few weeks ago and it's a heavy engine just focusing on very much the speed and consistency with 4 elixirs and 12 darks getting a lot of energy to play to make dark Knight do a lot of damage with dark pulse attack um, this, this list is quite simple I don't think I should go over too much of it but the free feature is a really good card choice I think um, stuff like playing 2 and 4 sycamore is really fine in this deck a 1-1 stadium split delinquent you could you could take out the link one for something like second parallel or second silent lap, but I really like the link one in there. You discard some cards from your opponent's hand and maybe steal some games early. Uh, two scape ropes on switch. You can change two switch and one scape rope or three scape ropes or three switches, whatever you want to do. Uh, I think it's kind of pretty perfect. I think it's listed kind of perfect for me as a player. Um, I really like the fact, and I had to change other hand stimmer from my Melbourne to my second uh, Hexmaniac to accommodate uh, the Citroën matchup and the Volcano matchup, which is quite uh, sketchy. So let's jump into uh, a few games of Pokemon TCG Online today. We're gonna play two games probably, and yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna play against Tour Anton, and yeah, we'll find out what he's gonna play. Uh, it's gonna call coin flip. I I think he's gonna go for heads. I'll play go for heads. I don't. I always go for tails. And no, he went for tails, and I want a coin flip. So yes, I'm gonna go first, of course. Thank you so much. And the good thing about this deck, it doesn't hurt to go second. It does not hurt to go second because you can actually, depending on your hand, you can attack, uh, attack turn one. Ah, really nice thing. And he's gonna just gonna go, and he's gonna play Lapras. So, another matchup we want to look over is, of course, Lapras. Uh, yeah, it, it's a really sketchy matchup, and uh, I have never played it before. So, we're going to see how that goes. This is the first time in my life I play against Lapras. Kind of nice. Indeed, PCL would be a good, for my related, of course, it would be a good card to play in this matchup, but unfortunately, I don't play it, so... We're gonna go first and we're gonna top deck an Ultra Ball. Huge card, but we're gonna train this middle first and see what we're gonna have to get off the Ultra Ball. It looks like we have the Sycamore all the way in the end. Um, yeah, I think I have to. And then the Pick Sycamore. Uh, it, it, it's fine though, it doesn't hurt too much. I, I don't, I don't want to say it hurts too much, so... I'm gonna go for that, Ultra Ball, discard those two, I have Burst of Seekers, I'm just gonna pull that back. I'm gonna go for a... Mm, go for Darkrai. Love, love for Darkrai, I love that card. Touch there, Burst of Seeker. For Sycamore. Play Sycamore. Draw 7 cards uh, from my hand. We're gonna have some evil tall here, yeah sure. Give some love for that. He says hello. I, I I don't know what to say. I can't chat, so yeah, no comment guy. And we're just gonna pass the turn. We already got our attachment. And we're just probably gonna pull into this game with trying to play and some energies on to play and then let him knock out. Yeah, let him knock let him use his hammers. Um what I'm going to try and do is run him out of resources, probably with the all his energy removal, and we'll probably pass up the time if he plays that, um, and take black rounds and versus seekers. Actually, a few nights ago, I played this Lapras mirror match, and that game took me 40 minutes. So, it just takes a, it just shows you how, how long that match it takes, and uh, <laughs> how weird it is, the deck. I'm just going to attach a fighting free ball. We basically our strategy is to blow wink as uh, many times as we can. That's what I want to do. So mail. Take the ultra ball. Sure. This is gonna fit out a few cards and then play Max Elixir. Hit an energy. Nice. Put on some dark rate speech here, so 
Then we'll get Lysander Stall and Blooming Wing. 40 damage. Then Tension Energy onto the Evolve Cell so it does not get Lysander Stall either. That's the thing you use as well with uh, Lava Press because it can both be attacking deck with uh, stuff like Blister Burn or Ice Beam GX. But it can also be a very slow deck where you just use Collect and remove Solid Energy. And remove all energy perhaps. Nope, guys, we got Oblivion Wing. That helps a lot. He's gonna play Professor Kukui. He's not gonna attack this turn, so he's gonna really collect and draw a lot of cards. But. Mm, no matter what, we're just gonna play Linquent. Moves uh, Rough Seas, and if we can spam Linquent through game, I think we'll be in a very nice situation. Linquent's a very supportive against these decks because you, they make them discard so many cards, and nearly all of their cards are very important for all matchups. So, you're making them discard resources, which are important to them. So, I'm just waiting for it to discard a lot of stuff. I don't know why it takes so long. Ah. Get this card, Lice, in this ball, and Hanson, it looks like. Fine. Fine cards. I'm just going to attach a second energy to ensure myself from stuff like Team Flag Grunt and a Blue Wing onto Dark Ray X on Bench. That was a pretty standard turn. Um, and I think just by knowing this matchup, I, I might have to might have to edge when it comes to this. So I'm basically just waiting for him to play Flare Prince and stuff. He's gonna play down a Rough Seas, so not nice for me, but I'm gonna play Fire Fury Ball as well to the bench and attach energy, so it's just gonna use the active to collect. Team Flare Grunt, set, I told you, <laughs> it's gonna come. And it's gonna collect for some few cards, and uh, seeing that we're actually gonna go for a quite a aggressive turn. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball the end Sycamore away, just to basically take zero cards. We're gonna play Shaman for four, and we're just gonna discard the Shaman for Parallel City in the end. So we're gonna draw one, two, three, four. Uh, ooh, energies, nice. Mail just to have a bigger chance of hitting and reverse the seeker. No, X Maniac. No, can we just go into Yeah, we actually can, but yeah, we got Shaman Dex. We can actually take Hex Maniac, use Ultra Ball, do those two, take Shaman. We don't want to discard energy, so we'll just keep that. Play Max Elixir. Take that and put it onto Darkrai. Play an energy onto the active results all. And play Shaman for five. And now we basically have to sit and just wait because we don't want to play any of their cards for the rest of the game. So now we are sitting on a very great hand. Let's say that. Discard Shaman. Discard another Shaman. And an Oblivion Wing. Onto the Dark Rider. So just gonna prepare that uh, for it to attack and uh, take some prizes in the later stage of the game. I already discard two Rusties of this. Play one versus Seeker. So we're cool with that. That's a very nice setup for us. Perhaps soon we're gonna be able to do something. He's gonna play Lysander. Lysander out the Darkrai. He's gonna use Switch. He's gonna use Energy Switch. He's gonna use Ice Beam? Yes, Ice Beam GX. So, we're in attack phase, guys. And it's gonna be messy. Because I don't have a Switch, but I have Escaper Lysander. So, Escaper. Into this. Touch there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just gonna attach for attack for knockout. And take two prizes. And escape rope. Speecher. Nice. Perfect cards for me. Couldn't ask for something better. It's gonna uh, try and crushing hammer off some energies. Crushing hammer one, 
Versus Seeker Flare Grind? No, Lysander. He's gonna try and knock out the Dark Ride with XP Share. I, I see that idea. That's a nice abuser. And. Blizzard Burn for 150 damage, but we're still probably gonna take a 2k on onto this Lapis GX, so have fun with that. So we draw another Dark Rise. We're just gonna tie attach <laughs> the VXP share there and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 150. Yeah, there should be no way. No way, dude. But I'm just gonna use Dark Pulse for 150 damage, and it looks like we're gonna win this game pretty, pretty clearly. And uh, yeah, uh, for a lot of Dark Grace is of course a really hard matchup because they can get a lot of energy to play, and if you just play patiently enough, like I try to do, but I end up not doing. Uh, <laughs> They, they'll end up winning most of the time. This is gonna nest ball for Lapras. Max Elixir onto the Lapras, probably. Yeah, he gets some energy off that, so yeah. Crushing Hammer. Please, no. Hey, yikes. Fly Gribble and Collect. Okay. You know what? Hmm. I can actually just hit him twice. So, escape up. Delinquent. Delinquent. Just gonna discard my own Pearl City. I don't care. But. I'm gonna remove three cards from his hand, which are gonna be huge. Because next turn, I hope he plays her rough seas for me not to knock him out with Blue Wing next turn, few turns. It's 80 HP left, and actually takes two extra for that. Uh, I'm just trying to bait him into knocking it out because he probably won't have energy. I hope he does need. I'm just playing, trying to play. Strategy I have prepared against it. Discard of the coolant and energy stuff, sure. Oblivion Wing. Because of 190. And Dark Cry. It would be a lot better if Lot versus 180 HP. It would be a bit less tanky, of course. Uh, but it would be a lot easier to deal with. So I don't know what's going to do this turn. That's that's the question because we can knock him out with Dark Cry and end up sweeping him out with the belt all. And I've used six energies. Nine energies, I have three left. He's gonna play Sycamore. I have six cards left in the deck. Switch. So I actually think I'm I'm probably being I'm maybe being able to run him out of cards. Who knows at this point. But XP is going to come into play very handily. Oh, I'm not going to promote that. I'm just going to promote Dark Cry. Go to the This is going to Ultra Ball. Fin out. It's got Hex and Dark Ball. See, my deck is actually pretty good. One Darkness left, so I have two prize. Uh, versus Seeker for the N. Nice. It's gonna Dark Pulse. And I hope he plays the stadium. I really hope he plays the stadium. Because I don't I think I played all mine. Yeah, my Sun Lab Parallel is gone, so I've played my two stadiums. It's gonna Team Flare Grunt. Not nice. He has eight cards left. Only God knows which which cards he has left. 
because otherwise I have to use Versus Secret Fan to get my last energy, which is not nice either, so... Oh, we tap take energy. That's huge. That is huge, guys. Absolutely huge. I think I might seal it. So we're just gonna use Dark Pulse. And we're probably gonna take an energy here. At least one. Two energies. Perfect. That's what we wanted. <laughs> so he's gonna use Blister Burn. Judge me first. Sure thing, dude. And yeah, he's gonna stare into the feet of Dark X. And he's gonna scoot. He, he sees it. Uh, I think I play this matchup pretty perfectly here. Play it like it should be. So. Yeah, we already completed those rewards, so we're just gonna play, take our last game of the night, and then, uh, let's see how that goes. We're gonna play against K1-san, he's gonna have to vanish, he probably has better elo than us, but, yeah, we're just gonna go for heads on spells, actually. Grab have some much for tails. Should've chosen chills. That's how, that's how it goes in time, though, so, so. No, no, no problems with that. I, uh, I think that's fine. So we're just gonna look here, Kason is wrong about choosing Lucas first, but he's, in the end, he's gonna choose that, he goes first. And he's gonna play your ninja! Nikola Bus. <laughs> Someone's playing your ninja out there. And, uh, yeah, that matchup's actually gonna be a pretty fun one, an entertaining one to watch. Um, of course, I hope we're gonna have a fast sub. Because then we're gonna be able to just go through all the ranges defenses and the uh, yes, just win. So please pass or something like that. Your silence or no shamans, guys. I don't think that was a plan either. So yeah, I shouldn't care too much. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna play and oh damn. Uh, my my hand was pretty perfect here and. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be ended to a mediocre hand. That that's honestly it doesn't feel too good. But can you see what trainer smell gets us? It gets us an old shuffle or a M on the license. Actually, I'd like to discard my license. We're in donking potential though. Donking potential, guys. So I'm just gonna ultra ball. Line of Sanger and Energy. We cannot use Hoopa or Shaman. We're just gonna go for another Dark Cry. This first one's gonna be attacking Dark Cry, so we're just gonna XP share this Dark Cry and then end. Oh, that this goes to do something and no. Unfortunately, we cannot dock him this turn, which is our plan and would have been really nice to see, but. We gotta thank ourselves with uh, Elixir for no energies and a pretty darkness full deck. And pass. He's probably gonna place uh, an again, so no no big deal about that. He's gonna evolve into Frogadier, probably have an energy. I'll be surprised if it doesn't. He does have a normal water energy and he's gonna burst the seeker for the end, giving us a new hand. Our new hand was just horrendous. So. Thank you, k one son and shuffle in my hand with my deck, and then, hmm, nice hand. If we just get a stadium card that isn't, or Sinolabs, we need to uh, Delinquin or, or Pearl. Pearl City. Uh, Pearl City would be really nice because of the water duplicates now, so he has to discard the Froki, which is just uh, waiting. Oh, he only gets two frog years, so, hmm, doesn't matter. I'm actually gonna elixir first because I need to hit another a card that is an energy, so we'll just hit on elixir anyway. But we, then we're gonna play turn now because we need a not escape rope perhaps, but I haven't touched it, so we got anything on shooting. I'll take the escape rope, we can get, actually just be aggressive now. Gives us a chance to just draw a price and hope those price cards are good. I haven't, I haven't checked on my Ultra Ball I played though. I hope that this turns out to be a good play. 
puts out Darkrai. He puts out Frogadoo because he doesn't think that I have anything, but you're wrong, bro. I'm just gonna attach to Darkrai and then go for Dark Pulse. 80 damage, which knocks out Frogadier. Very valuable prize. And we get a Parallel City! Nice! Um, those are cards I was searching for because now it looks like this. I can set up for clean and then he's gonna have Benet. Um, what's Benet do? I think it's the thing that moves tools, I guess. So. Yeah, I actually don't know. Let's play this. We have a hundred, and we can actually knock out this Granger this turn. So we start with Pearl first, in his way, of course. I'm gonna play set up for five cards. Oh, wow. Basically, hit all the cards to knock out a frogadier. I'll just knock out the frogadier. That's, that's a safer prize. And retreat into Dark Cry. Five Fear Build the Shaman and Dark Pulse. And draw Sycamore Prizes. Nice. Some water energy to the Granger and uses and again. So I gotta go to four cards in hand. Hopefully, we get a sick more elixir and energy. Then we're gonna be able to probably knock out a Granger Freak, who should eventually come out probably. So if he gets it, does see Diefall that's gonna go for Greninja Brig, I think. Um, yeah, yes. Greninja Break is going to be active. Moonlight Slash. He doesn't have the energy. He didn't have the energy for and the other for uh, Dragon Ward Shuriken. So thank God for that. Uh, Trainer's Mail. Sycamore. Nice card. Now we're just gonna escape rope. Take more prices, put more pressure on him. He's got escape rope, he's got... It's bad for him to do, to remove any of these Pokemon. I think actually the Veneta does so the tools as not work, he just played Bursting Balloons. But we're not, he's not gonna have the Veneta option this game. I'm just gonna play Sycamore, draw seven cards. Double hex mating in hand. Alright. We're changing to Dark Eye. More bulky. And then Shuffle dies. So it's your two. Yeah, we have one further on Shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. Really nice choice. I'm just gonna see how this goes because from this point I think it's gonna be easy matchup. Uh, we just need two more energies in play to make it more easy. But we're gonna headhunt that Shuppet. That Shuppet's not gonna be able to evolve because we need him to hit through our dark price all the time. And let me have my speed shares to work. Uh, yeah. So we're just gonna attach a splash energy. Use Giant Ward Shuriken onto the active dark This is gonna go for a knockout. Alright. But he has to remove his energy, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yeah, I don't think there's. Yeah, we need 3 more energies and we already used 2 elixirs, so we have to pull out the last 2 elixirs, so. Probably not too plausible, but. Yeah. That's how it is in the destroy card game. 
It's gonna go here. I'm just gonna Ultra Ball. We are sign alive and Sycamore. It's gonna go for a last Dark Cry, I think. Are we? Are we? Yes, we are. Last Dark Cry comes out. Attach to Dark Cry and then goes for a retreat into the other Dark Cry and then X and Darkness. So we're kind of standstill right now because we need some more energies in play. Um, and Abroad isn't too good build. We got the Hexes though, so it takes some free turns to KO a Dark Cry and we're gonna have one of the energies back, anyways. But these screen just are gonna be walls for us, so better be ready because we cannot one hit a Grinji yet, which is kind of a bummer, I think. Um, we have to go for Hex Chain for now. Uh, he has to activate my XP shares, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to keep up this game. It's gonna retreat into the other Greninja. It's gonna flare gun off one of my energies. This gets uh, kind of shaky. From the beginning here, and my turn, I draw darkness. Great. Hex Maniac. And Dark Pulse. 140. So, Triple Hex. Looks like a uh, good play. Those top decks, man. The, the top deck of the darkness energy was a huge there. Um, I don't think I would have survived without that. Um, yeah. Let's see an N. It's gonna be nice if you if I get delinquent off this end. I know it's three cards, I'm asking for a lot, but we get a trainer's mail and a switch. Nice cards, because we gotta be able to have hex. It's gonna be able to play that shut it. <laughs> Oh, we shut it in play. I'm gonna be able to use Expedia under Hex, so that's cool. Oh, and a Darkness Energy, huge top deck. We're top decking all the right cards right here, guys. And we're gonna be able to. Delinquent. Retreat into the other Dark Cry. Delinquent. And down to zero cards. That should possibly be game. Remove his last two cards offhand. He has a sick of one hands too. Oh. That's huge. And then Dark Pulse. I think it's quite it's a risk I take because if he gets an energy for giant war shingen, I cannot use XP share and lose some energy. But if it doesn't, it pays off so much because I can hex for an turn for the versus Eka right here. That is, that is huge. Yeah, uh, that that is just what we need, and let's hope we get it because right now he's in just pure pure ninja pieces, and he gets a Lysander. He's just gonna Lysander out machine. Cool. We do that because we can play our energy and set up for five ourselves. Before we exit, <laughs> uh, set up one, two, three, four, five junk cards. Uh, but we're gonna assure ourselves from an end, so we're just gonna pick up the shaman, and that's our deck. It's pretty stacked, so we got the cards to work with, and we're gonna go for a retreat. We got an energy left in the deck, we know that, so we probably insured the game, and then we're gonna go for it. This X. Can, can I get the hex? Can I get, no, I cannot get the holo hex. So, hex maniac, play that. And dark pulse. From 160. And that looks like game. I would even get a versus seeker if it was gonna be us needing more hex maniacs. But the link one played in so well this matchup. Removing cards from Greninja's hand is just so huge because Greninja is dependent on their hand size and that's gonna be it for today guys you saw how good dark cry was and it's still a major contenders format even though we didn't play against like really huge meta decks perhaps but we played against decks that were good uh, in formats where this was a thing so 
Just looking over, two X Maniacs, huge card, uh, Inflixer, of course, uh, like for Dark Eye and all that stuff is really great. But I would really like you to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook, like that Facebook page, and like this video. Share some amazing support to us, and I'm gonna see you guys next time I make a video, and that's probably gonna be one of the few, uh, one of our next episodes on Victory Road. Thank you so much for watching, and you'll have a great day.